Hey guys, this is the tips and tricks video that I promised I would do um, with five more helpful hints on how to grow long hair. This isn't a progress video, I'm not due for another update for another two weeks, but um, you know, just been doing my same routine. Hair is definitely growing, but I won't be measuring it until like first week of February. Probably around like the 6th or 7th of February, so yeah, be watching for that. And if you haven't seen my original how to grow long hair tips and tricks video, um, I will put the link right here. Go click on that, go watch that before watching this because this starts at tip number 6, that video covers tips 1 through 5, so go watch that before you watch this. Did you watch it yet? Okay, great. Now that you've watched that, tip number 6 is to massage your scalp for 2 to 5 minutes every day. Just Take the very tips of your fingers and put them on your scalp, just like under your hair. I do this, and you just want to go in little circles all over your scalp. And this um, stimulates the blood flow in your scalp. And if you've been taking um, vitamins like folic acid and biotin, which is what I take, um, or just any multivitamin, the blood um, going into your scalp has those good vitamins that are really helpful for hair growth. And if you can get the blood circulating in your hair follicles, it will help stimulate growth. It's really easy to massage your scalp in the shower too, because like, you know, when you have shampoo on your head, you're just rubbing it in and that naturally massages your scalp. So a lot of, you know, all you guys do this already, just um, if you do it outside the shower when your hair is dry and just like before you go to bed or something, give your scalp a little massage. It feels really good and it's really good for hair growth. So I really recommend doing that. Tip number seven is to use a boar bristle brush. Now, I got this one um, at Walgreens for only like $11. Um, make sure you get the soft bristles because the hard ones can cause damage. Um, at least for my like fine hair it would cause damage. I don't know about thick hair. But I have this soft bristle, boar bristle brush and um, every day, like at night, I just run my brush from the scalp to the tip. And what these brushes are good for is distributing the natural oils in your hair, the sebum that um, collects at your scalp, and it distributes that oil to the rest of your hair, and especially to your ends, and it's really good. It makes it healthy and shiny and, um, you know, just more strong and protected, especially from split ends at the end. So that's a really good tip to use that natural oil, And if you, but if you don't brush it, you know, it just stays at your scalp, and this is really good for distributing that oil. Tip number eight is another really good way to help prevent split ends, um, and it's using a split end prevention serum. Um, I use this from Matrix. It's a sleek look um, split end prevention serum that you just apply to the ends of your hair. I'll show you what the bottle looks like. It's just this little like oil stuff. And um, this was actually, it's kind of expensive. It says it's $15 on the bottle. The only reason I use this is because I want it like from a raffle. I don't know if I would buy it for $15. You can also just use like coconut oil, almond oil, um, argon oil, and just apply a little bit to your ends. Um, I do mine when it's dry. I'm not sure if it's as effective when it, your hair is wet. But I just take a little tiny, I already did this today so I won't do it again, but a tiny like pea sized drop in my hands and I rub it together and just um, put it on the ends of my hair kind of like this. And it just helps um, seal those ends and protect it from split ends. And mind you, this will not heal split ends. If you already have split ends, you need to cut them off. There's nothing you can do. This won't fix them, this just prevents them. So tip number nine also has to do with split ends for when you do get them and you know you're always going to you no matter how much you try to prevent them with oils and you know whatever you're always just gonna get them eventually so when you do um, I like to take my hair scissors and it's really good to invest in a nice pair of hair scissors I was lucky again and my mom happened to have some that she let me borrow but um, you know these can run pretty expensive I know Walmart carries some cheap ones I don't know how good the quality is but um, just invest in some good scissors because then when you're cutting your hair you won't tug or you know it won't snag and it won't create more damage so anyway what I like to do with my hair scissors is um, go through my ends and find split ends and it's hard because um, if you're against the wrong background like 
since I have light hair, um, I like to put my hair against a, like a darker background. You can use like a piece of paper or whatever, but this is the only like dark thing I have <laughs> with me. Um, so I just like put my dark surface down. And if you have dark hair, you're gonna want like a light surface. So you know, you just want contrast. And you just go through your hair and try to find split ends. Search through your hair until you find one. Aha, here we go. Okay, so then you just separate that hair from the rest. You want to be really careful to separate it really well. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oops. But that is a split end right there. So this is a chart of split ends um, and the different types you can look for. I did not make this. I got this off Google. So then you just take your scissors. the very top and then you are left with a clean edge can't see it very well but anyway you get the idea find split ends in your hair separate them and chop off the end and then they the hair is healthy again and if you're going through your hair and finding like a lot of split ends that you need to cut off that means you need to, a haircut that means your hair is getting unhealthy and that you should just get a little trim so all your hair can start fresh but um it's a good thing if you're sitting there and you can't find a split end for like five minutes because that means your hair is healthy so that's another good way to gauge how often to get haircuts is when you're going through and finding a bunch of split ends that's not good so my last tip tip number 10 is um to not use metal in your hair and i know that's hard for people with like short hair and layers and bangs and you want to pin them back but like just be really careful you know if you're using bobby pins or those metal clips that you snap open but um, one thing you can do at all times is only use hair ties without metal I use the goody ouchless hair ties I mean any hair tie without a metal clasp will work but I like these a lot um, and it's just it's a lot better because if there's metal um, there's a lot more chance of it your hair getting tangled in it and when you pull out the hair tie it'll rip hair out and you know cause damage and you don't want any of that you want you want your hair to be nice and long and healthy and not break so using hair ties without metal is best so I hope these tips and tricks are helpful for you guys um, I know they are for me these are all things that I've been doing on my journey and I've seen my hair grow a lot already and it feels healthy and just a lot less prone to breakage after doing all this stuff so I just wanted to share what I've been doing with you guys and hope that it can help you guys too like I said, I'm uh, due for another progress update in two weeks, so be looking for that. And if you guys have any more ideas for tips and tricks that um, I can apply, then please just leave me a message or comment. You know how to reach me. And stick with it. If any of you guys are on a journey, I know how like slow and frustrating growing hair can be, but just stick with it. Do these tips and tricks, and I promise you will see some results. Um, so I can't wait to measure my progress in a couple weeks and I will see you guys then. Bye!